for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.gatemec.com the topic ecosystems and biomes are very important for upsc exams because upsc tends to ask applied questions from this topic regarding different characteristics of the ecosystems and biomes and also the animal life and plant life in biomes and ecosystems many questions used to come in previous years so this topic is very important and let us start the discussion with biome what is a biome biome is a large geographic area this large area is characterized by a specific animal and plant life both animal and plant life that is this animal and plant life differentiate it from other biomes and this animal and plant life in the end depends on the geographic factors geography of the region that is it depends on the location location in the stem location in terms of latitudes and altitude and continentality climate and soil so these are the geographic factors determining the plant and animal life latitude is the imaginary lines drawn on the globe from equator to poles equator is 0 degree latitude and poles 90 degree latitudes and depending on the latitudes the climatic factors varies and altitude is height because vegetation different from the foothills to the top of a mountain continentality is nearness to the water bodies coastal ecosystem is different from the interior ecosystem and climate climate is a main determinant in terms of temperature precipitation what is precipitation precipitation is the amount of rain or snowfall available in that particular region and also availability of light light and seasonal variations soil factors soil will give different types of nutrients it will give support and the soil characteristics determine the moisture availability in the soil so all these factors determine the plant and animal life which will determine determine the ecosystem and such large area is called biome and you have to note one point that biomes are defined only for the terrestrial ecosystem because it is characterized by the plant life it is not defined for an aquatic ecosystem aquatic ecosystems are simply called as ecosystems like coral ecosystem mangrove ecosystem or it estuarian ecosystem but in terrestrial region we have different types of ecosystems like tropical forest tropical grasslands temperate forests temperate grasslands desert ecosystems alpine and arctic tundra ecosystems and coniferous forests these are the main type of biomes available on the earth thus uh, we saw that there is a relation between different physical and biological factors if you understand this relation well you will be able to answer many questions that is coming in the examination because they will generally ask between these interconnections how the climatic factor is affecting the plant life in and how the plant life is affecting the animal life and how it will determine the overall characteristic of the ecosystem or bio now let us see the different biomes available on earth here i have drawn a diagram and this diagram is taken from ncrt this is a simple diagram 
If you can memorize this diagram, it will be very easy for you to understand the different biomes and their characteristics. Here in this graph, it shows temperature in this axis and precipitation in this axis. So, temperature and precipitation are the main climatic factors affecting the ecosystem. So, affecting a biome, temperature and precipitation, all other factors can be related to these two factors. And temperature uh, range and precipitation range. We can't find any ecosystem or biome in the earth beyond these ranges. That is, that means life in the earth exists, exists within this range only. And now let us see how we can recognize different biomes. See here, the biome marked here is having highest among the precipitation and temperature, right? It is above 20 degrees mean, it is mean annual temperature, that is average of the temperatures in an year. So here this biome has the maximum temperature and precipitation in this group. This biome can be in equator region, right? Because in equator region only we have higher temperature and higher precipitation. So these are tropical forests. So tropical forests need very large precipitation that is above 150 centimeter per annum. It can be up to 400-450 centimeters per annum also. So when we define a tropical forest ecosystem, the main characteristic determine the ecosystem is two factors, higher precipitation and higher temperature. So in this range, next comes this ecosystem. This ecosystem temperature is moderate, right? It is not very high nor very low. Moderate temperatures. Moderate temperatures comes in the temperate regions. The word temperate itself denotes the word moderate. So the temperature comes in the moderate range and precipitation is also in medium range, right? From 50 to almost 200 centimeter it is temperate forest so this biome is temperate forest and another biome is also there which has higher precipitation higher precipitation more than 100 centimeter to 250 so this can this should also be a forest because we know forest ecosystems needs higher temperature because forests have higher forms of the plant life which needs more moisture more water more nutrients so the you can say that biomes which are having higher precipitation will be essentially forest ecosystems so these are coniferous forests coniferous forests or taiga ecos by taiga biome and what is the differentiating factor between these three types of forests? It is the temperature. It is clearly there is a temperature division between these three kinds of forests. Coniferous uh, forests can exist in lower temperatures, temperate forests in moderate temperatures and tropical forests in higher temperatures. So these are the characteristics of the three, for, three types of forests available on the earth. Now comes an ecosystem which is having very less precipitation. You can see here precipitation is less than 50. What can be this ecosystem? This is nothing but deserts. So the deserts and tropical forests are the two extremes in terms of precipitation. Otherwise, we can tell that most defining factor in a desert ecosystem is the precipitation. Precipitation is the limiting factor. And you said temperature range is little higher because we have both cold and hot deserts. Sorry, here it is hot deserts. 
here it is cold deserts but in both places the moisture content is not enough to support the normal plant life and next comes an ecosystem which is intermediate between the forest and the desert what is the intermediate ecosystem it is grasslands grasslands ecosystem also the defining factor is precipitation it is hardly goes beyond 100 cm annual precipitation and in grasslands also the temperature can be in a wide range see there are hot grasslands hot grasslands in tropical regions like savanna and in temperate grasslands we call as step prairie pampas wells is like that depending on the continents and locations where these grasslands are present it is known in different names so this grasslands ecosystem also covers a wide range of temperature but the limiting factor is the precipitation and it forms the intermediate ecosystem between forests and deserts now in this biomes one biome is standing little different right different from the group what is that biome it is this lower temperature biome we can clearly see that the defining factor in this biome is temperature it is beyond the 0 degree celsius it is nothing but tundra what is tundra ecosystem tundra ecosystem is which are found south of ice ice cape in the polar regions and also in the higher altitude of the mountains so when it is found in the polar regions it is called arctic tundra if it is found on the mountain regions it is called alpine tundra alps are the name of a mountain which is present in europe and so the mountain ecosystems are generally called as alpine ecosystems and in this biome the the characteristic is the lower temperature we can see that it precipitation can be of a wider range because in alpine regions we may get more precipitation than the arctic regions but the most limiting factor here is the temperature temperature and also the availability of the sunlight and this is the defining characteristic of this ecosystem and if you memorize this diagram you can easily recognize the difference between these biomes for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com